Having a Staffordshire Bull Terrier that pulls every time you take it for a walk can be downright infuriating and it can turn what should be the joy of your day, frankly, into the biggest chore of your day and that shouldn't be the case. As a canine behaviourist, I specialise in helping people turn their dogs, pulling behaviours, reactivity behaviours into beautiful, loose lead, engaged heel walking and I want to help you achieve exactly that with your staffy. Now yes, when it comes to stopping your dog from pulling, we are going to have to correct the pulling at some point. We're going to have to communicate that they're doing something wrong. But as fair, loving leaders, as balanced trainers, we also have to have the ability, if we're going to tell them what we don't want them to do, to teach them what it is that we do want them to do. So we have to do some very basic work on luring, marking, a new behaviour to help them understand what we mean by walking to heel. It's a very straightforward process. We get a little bit of the dog's food, we get them to follow their food and when they're by our left hand side where we want them to be as soon as we get there we say the word heal and then we reward and we practice that and we practice that and we practice that and very quickly over the space of just a couple of days your dog should have the rough understanding of when we say heal we want you by our side in this rough vicinity. So now we've taught our dogs what it is that we do want from them. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just a rough idea of what we mean when we're talking about heel. Because now we can start actually putting these things into practice. And when we go out and we ask our dogs to heel, if they make a bad decision and choose to ignore us, well, now we're justified in being able to let them know that that isn't acceptable. And yes, we are now going to move on to the correction part of the equation. Now, I usually do this with my tune-up drill and over on my training channel again there's tons of examples of me doing this and you can follow along with that but when it comes to giving you the steps that you need to be able to do to achieve loose lead walking now we've taught them what it is that we do want it's the job to teach them what it is that we don't want. So we find the right tool for your dog. My go-to is a slip lead for this process. And I go through the tune-up drill and I insist that the dog must look up to me for guidance and direction and they must follow my directions. And my direction in this situation is heel. It's walk nicely like I've asked you to. And if you don't, then unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to challenge you for doing so because I love you. Now, this is where the magic truly happens. And this is why a balanced approach to training is so powerful and has such astronomical high success rates. Because we're not focusing on just the praise and reward, nor are we just focusing on the correction. We're not just focusing on getting our dogs to do something for food nor are we just focusing on punishing our dogs when they do something wrong we use a balanced approach that makes it crystal clear for them now we can communicate to them what we don't want because they understand what it is that we do want we can redirect them back to that. So once we have challenged the undesirable behavior, step three is now redirecting it back to the desirable behavior, which then allows us to reward and praise that behavior instead. So when you have your dog that pulls 100 times out of 100 and walks beautifully zero times out of 100, by correcting the undesirable behavior, we're gonna see them display that pull in less and less and less. But because we were fair loving leaders and we taught them what it is that we do want and we're gonna redirect them back to what we do want and then praise and reward that behavior instead, the desirable behavior of them choosing to listen to us first time round and walking on a loose lead is gonna happen more and more and more. And over the space of sometimes just a few days, we can go from this and flip the script on its head and go to this. But because we're fair, loving leaders and show both sides of the equation to our dogs, it makes it very easy for them to choose the right decision, which then allows us to reward and praise the vast majority of the time. So if you want to fix your dog's pulling behavior in a fair, fast, loving way, that is exactly the three steps that I take to do it all the time and have helped thousands of people be able to achieve the same thing. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you love the Staffordshire Bull Terrier as much as I do, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like the video, because we can't wait to see you here on the next episode.